Alrighty, and continuing on on our section for file sharing in the 70-740 certification. In this section, or in this video, we are going to talk about sharing with PowerShell. Now there's two commands listed up here. One is new item, which will create our folder for us. And the second one is new SMB share. I'm not going to use all the options that are available for new SMB share. Uh, however, there are a lot of options that are available for you to use, and you can find them by simply Googling new SMB share. So in order to create our share, what we're going to do on our Windows server is we're going to open up PowerShell. So on the start menu here, I'm actually going to right click on my PowerShell icon and I'm going to say run as administrator. I want to share these files as an administrator so that I can make sure I don't have any permissions issues as I'm sharing them. So first thing I want to do is I want to create a shared folder. For that I'm going to use the new item command and the path. Let's call this uh, shared folder. Type of directory. I want it to be a folder as opposed to a file. And we can see it created the folder. If I'm not too sure exactly what I'm doing, I can use the dir command in order to view the C drive. And I can see my shared folder directory exists. Great. Next thing I want to do is I want to share this folder. For that, I'm going to use the new SMB share command. What do I want to name this? Well, let's call this shared folder folder for lack of a better imagination. What path do I want to share? Which folder, which directory do I want to share? Well, that is oops, C colon backslash shared folder. And now there's a million options I can tag in on this. Specifically, I'm going to go ahead and add full access and I'm going to give on my test lab domain test user one user full access to this group. Change access. Let's go ahead and give test lab one backslash test user two. And then for read only access, let's go ahead and give test lab backslash test user three read access to this folder. So it's simply new SMB share name what the name of the share you want it to be. Again if I wanted this to be hidden I would put end it with a dollar sign. What path, what folder already exists that you want to share and then I'm simply adding in some permissions. Full access, change access, and read only. And assuming I have no typos I have some typos. Alright, in order to simplify my typos, I, I simplified the command, uh, so I'm only granting full access at this point. Um, however, if I wanted to change access and read access, those would simply be added in there along with it. And now if I look back at my server explorer, refresh the page, my share should show up. There we go, my shared folder. As well as if I view it through uh, computer manager, it will show up in there as well.